was it strange to you to see the backlash? Yeah, I mean, I don't know why that would be taken in any certain way. Why are you liking white nationalist pages? The San Francisco 49ers, number two overall, selected Ohio State defensive end Nick Boza. It should be a fun family story. Why are you liking pages that have homophobic and racial slurs? He liked some of my tweets, called our president a goat. But instead, politics rules the day, and can I say ruin the day? Nick Bosa loves Donald Trump. He brings a charisma to the table that no other candidates I've seen in my lifetime. So. I think we need change. His father, John, is no better, as you will see. After Trayvon Martin's death, John reposted this on his Facebook. But as soon as these monkeys can blame the murder on a white person, oh, here they come. The only time, other time you'll see this many Negroes in one spot is if they're giving away free Air Jordan tennis shoes or baskets of Kentucky Fried Chicken. Man, I haven't seen this much self-hatred since First Things First with Jason Whitlock started airing. You know who else shared this? Neo-Nazi websites like White Pride Worldwide. And guess what? We went to this post and it still exists to this day. Titled warning, the truth may upset some people. No shame. Daddy Bosa posted conspiracy theory memes on social media, like a Trump supporter sending pipe bombs to Barack Obama, Joe Biden, CNN, Robert De Niro, and other Trump detractors. Lo and behold, a Trump supporter mailed those 16 bombs. Hey, John, right there, bud. Father Bosa liked a tweet saying the owner of the Chargers has a small wee-wee. His oldest son, Joey, plays for the Chargers. John has dissed other Chargers, saying Melvin Ingram, fellow defensive end, would be nothing without his son Joey. On draft night after the Chargers' selection, Joey's mother Cheryl wrote on Facebook, it bums me out for him so much, she wrote. Wish we pulled an Eli Manning on draft day. How come Darius Geis, a black football player, was asked if his mother's a prostitute or if he's gay, but no one questioned the divisive racist mindset of the Bosa's being distractions? Oh, I wonder. He tweeted, bringing race into a conversation is the easy way out. But hang on a second. John also wrote in a tweet, there's a lack of black leaders in society, discusses black on black violence, and Trump created more jobs for minorities. Hmm. He replied, Cap is a clown to our guy Robert Latal's tweet. So as one would do, Nick follows blindly in the bigoted footsteps of his father. On top of this, the New York Daily News wrote in 2007, Solid Gold, a new strip joint in West Palm Beach owned by John Bosa, will host a nude Anna Nicole Smith lookalike contest this month. It's a tribute to a great entertainer, said John Bosa. At the club, a mother whose two-year-old son had a 102 degree fever was not permitted to leave her shift until Dontrell Willis implored her to go. Another event took place at the club. A man was shot and killed there by a security guard who returned fire during an argument in the parking lot. And in 2009, a woman stabbed her husband near the front door four months before another shooting injured two men. Look, Nick Bosa learned from this man. He is a foot soldier for his father's racist ways, as we've touted previously on this platform. Education is the fundamental key to breaking the mental barriers of race relations and unlocking the doors for inclusivity. It starts at the top and always will. If you'd like to hear more thought-provoking content like TYT Sports on Facebook and to help in my journey to keep media independent, go to tyt.com Rick.